Hello and welcome to my channel. Serial Killer Facts. In recent years, serial killers have become an enormous source of inspiration for TV series and films. People who violently kill several people without feeling any remorse can be truly shocking. Globally, there have been many reports of killings and murders committed by killers. Since the 1980s, there are still 222,000 unsolved serial killer murders in the U.S. A serial killer has four types, mission-oriented, visionary, control-oriented, and hedonistic. You can walk past at least 36 serial killers in your lifetime. Serial killer killings in California are one of the highest numbers in the U.S. at 1,682. 70% of all known serial killer murders come from America. Serial killer Ted Bundy committed two dozen murders between 1973 and 1984. A Ted Bundy documentary was released by Netflix in January 2019. In the 1970s, he was a serial killer. In the documentary, Conversations with a Killer, the Ted Bundy tapes, viewers get a glimpse of the crimes he committed. It is believed that he has killed at least 36 women, but that number has not been confirmed to date. Among Bundy's killing grounds were Washington, Colorado, Florida, and Utah. In the end, he was found guilty of murder and sentenced to death via the electric chair. On January 24, 1989, this infamous killer was executed. Dahmer was a serial killer known for eating victims. Jeffrey Dahmer is one of the most well-known serial killers of all time. His method of luring his victims to his apartment from public places cannot be forgotten. They were beaten, drugged, and strangled by Dahmer. Following that, he would eat some of their body parts and the remains would be left in his apartment. Dahmer did this in Milwaukee in the 1970s and 1990s. He was arrested on July 22, 1991, after one of his victims escaped a possible murder. He was sentenced to life imprisonment in February 1992. At the time, he pleaded guilty to all 17 killings. He didn't live through all these years in prison as he died in 1994 due to prison beatings. A police officer turned serial killer. D'Angelo was a police officer before he committed a series of rapes, killings, and assaults from the 1970s to the early 1980s. There have been 13 confirmed victims so far. He moved from one country to the next without being caught for his crimes. The arrest of D'Angelo on April 24, 2018 led to his plea of guilty to 13 counts of special circumstances and murders. Based on information found on a public genealogy site as well as DNA samples taken from the suspect's car and trash, police were able to link all evidence to him. As a result of his guilty plea, he will not be facing the death penalty. However, 11 life sentences will also exclude him from parole eligibility. It took a crawlspace to convict a party clown serial killer. John Wayne Gacy owned a construction company. However, he also worked as a clown for children as this is how he was able to kidnap young boys and men. He lured them to his house to perform his murder fantasies. The remains of his victim were found in the crawlspace of Gacy's house on December 21, 1978. He was convicted of 33 counts of murder after 16 years and given the death penalty via lethal injection. His execution took place on May 10, 1994. Serial killer Samuel Little was a traveling serial killer. There's a slim chance that serial killers would switch locations for their kills, according to studies. However, Samuel Little's case is unique. He was a nomadic serial killer from the 70s until 2005. He moved around the U.S. committing crimes after leaving Ohio in the 1950s. He killed people in Arkansas, Georgia, Arizona, Florida, Mississippi, South Carolina, Texas, Maryland, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Louisiana. During an FBI interview, he admitted to over 93 murders, but he was convicted of only eight. Little often preyed upon vulnerable women who were drug addicts and prostitutes. To kill them, he would punch them first, knock them unconscious, and then strangle them. Since most of his victims had no stab marks or bullet wounds, he was attributed to drug overdoses and accidents. Thanks for watching. More about serial killers in next video. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel.